Hey everyone, here's a question. The question is, evaluate each of the following expression for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 3. Evaluate means we have to substitute this x, y and z value in this given expression uh, and then we have to find out the value there. So first question here is, first question is x by y plus y by z plus z by x and we have given the x y z value so here x is equal to minus 2 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 3 substitute the values here so in place of x I'm gonna put minus 2 so it's minus 2 by y value is minus 1 plus y value is again minus 1 so minus 1 by z value is 3 plus z value is 3 and x value is minus 2. In the first one, minus 1 will get cancelled here. So it will be 2 by 1 or you can just simply write down 2 there. I want to write down 2 by 1 plus here we have a negative, right, negative sign right. So plus minus will become minus. So I'm going to change it to minus here. So it will be minus 1 by 3. And again we have a minus, minus sign in the denominator. So minus sign if it's there in the denominator or in the numerator it means the whole number is negative. So again it will become plus minus minus. So it will be equal to minus 3 by 2. Now you can see that by adding here a fraction like or the yeah, fractions we can say. Then how to add the fractions? We have learned that we in, when you are adding a fractions the denominator ha has to be same. Here it's not same. We have a 1, 3 and 2. So we have to take, uh, we have to make it same by taking LCM. So if I take LCM of the denominators, that is LCM of 1, 2 and 3, it will be 6. Okay, I hope you all know how to find out the LCM. LCM of 1, 2, 3 will be 6. Now I'm going to change the denominator to 6 for all the 3 fractions. So first number here is 2 by 1. So 2 by 1 we have, I have to make it 6. So with 1, what I should multiply to get 6? It is 6, right? 1, 6 is a 6. So we're going to multiply here with a 6. Same number should multiply in the numerator. It's not like you cannot change the number in the denominator. You should do both numerator and denominator. So the value of the number doesn't change. It's not going to affect the number. Then we have minus 1 by 3. So this 3 I have to make it 6. So with 3, what I should multiply to get 6? It's 2, right? 3 2s are 6. So multiply 2 in the denominator also in the numerator. Then we have minus sign we have 3 by 2. So this 2 I have to make it 6. With 2 what we should multiply to get 6? It is 3. 2 3s are 6. So multiply 3 in the denominator and in the numerator. Now this is equal to, now multiply them. So 2 6 are 12. So 12 by 6 minus, in the numerator just multiply it. So 1 in 2 are 2. So 2 by 6 minus 3 3s are 9. So 9 by 6. Now you can see that denominators are same so I can just do the operation whatever is present like minus means minus plus means plus. So I'm going to take one denominator now which is 6 and I'm going to operate like I'm going to do the subtraction or addition in the numerator. So it is 12 minus 2 minus 9. So this will be equal to 12 minus 2 or you can do one thing, you can just solve the last two terms. Minus minus, both both the numbers have a negative sign, so minus minus means plus, you have to add them. 9 plus 2 will be 11, so it will be 12 minus 11. Both numbers are negative, so I'm going to put minus sign there, so minus 11. So 12 minus 11 upon 6, so 12 minus 11 is 1, so we'll get here 1 by 6. So this is the answer for the first question. Same way, we have to do the second one here. Substitute the values of x, y, and z. I hope the first question is clear. Let's move on to the second one now. So in the second one, the expression is x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. So let's substitute the values here. x square, which means minus 2 whole square plus y square which means minus 1 whole square plus z square it is 3 square then minus in place of x I'll put minus 2 